A few weeks ago, I made a huge mistake. I thought, mistakenly, that the Washington Commanders would be the hardest rebuild in Madden 25. And then I watched Jaden Daniels play football. Turns out, this kid is a dog. I also mistakenly believed that Bryce Young was gonna turn things around. So yeah, it is very clear to me now that the Carolina Panthers not only will be the most difficult rebuild, but also need the rebuild the absolute most. Now, there is one thing I wanna say about this team. Technically, Bryce Young is a 73 overall with star development. So in Madden terms, he is the better starter than Andy Dalton. But we're at the point in real life NFL where I think the Panthers have completely moved on from Bryce Young. I hope he can make a comeback on a different team, but I think this kid's confidence is just completely crushed. I, I think he's cooked. And if we're going to be lore accurate, Andy Dalton needs to be the starter. Now granted, Andy Dalton is 36 years old, but he is big time balling out right now. And his accuracies are really not that bad. So Andy Dalton and his 28 stiff arm are gonna lead us to the promised land. Oh, uh, the running back room. I mean, Chubba Hubbard's young. Jonathan Brooks, I actually really do like Jonathan Brooks. He's a 90 speed elusive back, which really isn't that fast, but I mean, he's hidden dev. We, we gotta start with something. I'm gonna move him to the starter. As far as wide receivers, we have Deontay Johnson, Adam Thielen, Xavier Liga. Listening to this man speak just puts a smile on your face. Number one. Number two, my goal for this rebuild is to turn this dude into an absolute freak show. He's 6'1", 220, which is crazy size for a wide receiver. He's got 93 speed, 93 excel. He has the core of what could be an insane Madden receiver. We just gotta get him there. And obviously his quarterback is a 72 overall right now. There's nothing I could do about that. I honestly, Andy Dalton is playing so well, but Madden's got him at a 72, so he's a 72. That's all I can do. O-line is low key very good. It's a very good O-line. You rarely have an all star dev offensive line. Tight ends on the other hand are absolute dog water. Wide receivers are aging other than Xavier. Uh, defensively, we're so washed other than Derek Brown. Derek Brown is, is incredibly good and he's 26 years old. I don't know how I ever thought Commanders was a harder rebuild than this. This is definitely the hardest rebuild. Uh, I do really like JC Horn. Not only is he a tall DB, but he's only 24 years old. So he's going to continue to be a staple of this team. I'm also wearing a, a Jeremy Chin Panthers jersey. He is not on this team anymore. <laughs> we have a mega washed Jadevian Clowney. We do have Trevin Wallace, the rookie out of Kentucky. An 89 speed, 88 excelment linebacker. Definitely got to get him in the first. Ray. Let's just put it out. His first year is going to be tough, but why don't we get Xavier some reps? We'll get Jonathan Brooks some reps. Hey, and don't forget about Jonathan Mingo. And honestly, if we've already determined that we are moving on from Bryce Young, there is no reason to keep him. The Titans are understandably very interested in Bryce Young, and they're willing to send their second round pick for Bryce Young. How much more can we realistically expect to get? I'm cool with this trade. We've got to set a season goal, and I'm trying to not get fired, so let's get four wins. And, and it's honestly a very realistic goal. I'd be very happy with four wins. So the season opener for the Carolina Panthers is against the New Orleans Saints. In real life, the Panthers lost this game 47 to 10. But in real life, Bryce Young was starting. We've got Andy Dalton in. Maybe we get a different result. I can't say I have high hopes, but hey, it's a rebuild, baby. I don't care how many years it takes. We're going for the Lombardi. Dude, what do we got here? 21 to 21. Three minutes left. Andy Dalton's got a cooking. There's a quick dump off to the tight end. He's got 171 yards and two touchdowns. It's third and one. Third and one. This is a crucial first down. Do we run this ball? Do we run it to pick up a single yard motion on 17? No handoff. Quick pass. I can't believe we didn't run that football. Fourth and one. Are we going for this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the balls on the Panthers. Fourth and one. Another pass. Dalton middle caught. And look who it is. Xavier Leggett. The rookie comes up with that massive catch right there. No way. Are the Panthers about to start out this hot? Andy Dalton under center. There's a counter to Jonathan Brooks. And a fumble! More accurate Carolina Panthers. We actually just had a chance to beat the Saints. I think we might be cooked now. Who threw you? I'm, he's down! He is down! He's 100% down. Panthers ball! It's second and 10. Wait a minute. The booth comes in clutch. Another handoff. Jonathan Brooks. Oh my god, what? What the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? This game is so dog shit. It's so hard to go from college football to this game. This game is utter shit. But he just fucking stopped, dropped, and rolled like he got lit on fire. Okay, fourth and six. We burnt some Saints timeouts, so now we're gonna kick potentially a game-winning field goal. I think the Panthers still have Eddie Pinheiro. Presumably? 
He drills that shit, whoever it was. No, that is M Mevis. Who is, who is that? I do not know ball. It is 24 to 21. The New Orleans Saints need a field goal to tie this up, a touchdown to win it. Derek Carr, Derek Carr, hail fucking Mary. Why are you so open? What are we running? Dude, we are trying so hard to lose this football game and we're doing a great job of it. Oh my God. They, Canales trying not to choke the game challenge level impossible. One play, eight seconds. With that down in distance, you only have one responsibility. It's to not get burnt over the top and you are going to get absolutely cooked over the top. Frankly, at this point, you're asking a lot out of Amy Dole, okay? I mean, seriously, now he's got to mount his own game winning drive. We do have three timeouts and a clean pocket and a laser beam. So Xavier Leggett again, he is cooking right now. Also, sorry, he's got a very difficult name. I think it's Xavier Leggett. Oh my God. Is that Mingo? Is that Jonathan Mingo? Dude, our young wide receivers. Where's Deontay Johnson? Where's Adam Thielen? First and 10, are we actually gonna score? Are we actually gonna score? Right over the middle, easy. I don't know which tight end, I think that's Thomas. We got Tommy Tremble and Isaiah Thomas. I yeah, it's not Isaiah Thomas, is it? I just pulled that out of that. It's Ian Thomas, Ian Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, Detroit Pistons legend. Okay, there's a lot of names in my brain. Oh my fucking God, what? What is going on? I just watched Andy Dalton moon fucking walk into a fumble. First and goal, Andy Dalton, Matt, I'm going to lose 1,000 brain cells, all of my patience, and I'll probably, I'll probably relapse on nicotine trying to do this Panthers rebuild. What the fuck did you just throw? You just put on a masterclass drive to throw to a double-covered Deontay Johnson with 15 seconds on the clock and a timeout. Ball game. Oh my god! All right, gentlemen, um, that's going to be it for today's Panthers rebuild. Hope you enjoyed. Pee! I'm kidding. Good lord, that was... Pitiful. I don't want to look at this team right now. We had such a golden opportunity to win that game twice. I don't even think the Saints beat us. I think we just lost. You know what I mean? We beat ourselves. I hope this is not indicative of the entire season. And by the end of the season, we did pick things up a little bit. We went 6-11, and 11, finishing at the bottom of the NFC South, but 6-11 and 11 is not that bad. Multiple teams were worse than us. Washington was 3-14. and 14. Seattle went 2-15. and 15. I do not see that in Sims very often. They really suck. Patrick Mahomes won MVP. Yeah, big shocker. Uh, Anthony Richardson came in third, though. That's pretty cool. Jonathan Brooks came in second in Offensive Rookie of the Year voting. Unfortunately, it went to Caleb Williams. Xavier Leggett was also on the list, but he's at seventh. And Trevin Wallace came in eighth in Defensive Rookie of the Year voting. So we did a good job for our rookies. Not a spectacular season for us, though. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Andy Dalton is right in the middle of the pack of uh, quarterbacks. Played a very mediocre season. 27-12. Although, let's be real. That's what we wanted for him, right? I mean, he's our backup quarterback. We traded Bryce Young. He got us to a 6-11 record. I can't be mad about that. Offensively, Jonathan Mingo had 952 yards and 9 touchdowns. Xavier Leggett, 767 and 5 and 7 touchdowns. 714 for Deontay Johnson. We spread the ball out incredibly well. The only person who really didn't see the ball was Adam Thielen. Looks like Panthers offense is very even across the board. I don't know if that's good though. I feel like you'd rather have one powerhouse who can develop well. Jonathan Brooks hit 855 yards and eight touchdowns. He's getting a lot of carries. He's just not doing a lot with them because he's only a rookie. I think if we can get him up to a superstar, I think this average yards per carry is going to go up significantly when he's got some abilities to work with. Defensively, Shaq Thomas, Trevor Wallace led the way in tackles. We got eight sacks out of Jadevian Clowney. Not bad. And six out of Derrick Brown. Definitely expected more out of him. Four interceptions out of Troy Hill, two out of Shaq Thompson, two out of J.C. Horn. <laughs> Clowney even had an interception. The Super Bowl was between the Eagles and the Ravens. The Eagles came out on top, and Super Bowl MVP was Jalen Carter. That's really cool. Let's see what free agency has to offer. They're, oh God. It's actually a really good free agency. It's just that nobody wants to play for the Panthers. So we're either gonna have to offer a huge amount or just not get anybody. I mean, look at this. Hufango would be insane. Karamoa, um, all of these are really good. Nobody wants wants to be here. Jimmy Ward would sign. He is 34 years old though. I'm honestly going to pick up Draymond Jones on a small deal. Let's just make him a neutral deal here and see if he signs. I'm not trying to make too many big moves in free agency right now. We're not ready to win shit. Let's hang on to our cap. The 2024 NFL Draft, gentlemen. We have round one, pick seven. I do have my eyes on a few guys. Let's see who's available. Now, obviously I do need a quarterback, right? But luckily I scouted the quarterback, Steve Howdling and Clayton Young. Both are round one quarterbacks, but their talent is two to three. So I do not want to take them right now. This is a really weird pick because I don't really need a middle linebacker. Trevin 
Wallace is okay. We have Shaq Thompson. But this guy is so good looking that I feel like I have to take him. I rarely see middle linebackers go in the first round for one. For two, when do you see a middle linebacker with elite speed, elite excel, and elite agility? This guy is fast as shit for a middle linebacker. He's got to be hidden dev. His tackle is an A. His decent... I, this guy looks like a freak. I'm going with the best available player draft strategy. I know we don't need this position, but I'm taking Franklin Dane here. We just gotta hope that he's hidden dev. He has to be. I literally cannot tell you the last time I saw a middle linebacker with those kind of physicals in the first round. Rarely ever do you see even a middle linebacker in the first round. This guy's gotta be a freak. Ooh, ooh, shit. I'll be honest with you guys. This like whole true value thing, I don't get it. I really don't. But Franklin Dane is ranked number two in true value. I drafted him at seven. Hit <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's past as shit. A 92 speed, 93 excel middle linebacker, Franklin Dane out of Ohio State. He's past coverage, which is perfect because I'm running a 4-3. This is our Shaq Thompson replacement for sure. Now we should have two picks in the second round because we have our pick and we have the Titans pick. It looks like the Titans pick is 47, so it's not a bad pick. Jose Watkins. I do kind of want to get... Actually, I might not need wide receiver. I think Mingo and Xavier might just be fine. Second round, I'm going Pierre Hart. Harding. This looked to be the safest pick I could get. Just hoping he's hidden dev. Pierre Harding is not hidden dev. That's a whiff. That's just an outright whiff on the draft pick. The crazy thing is you can actually sort by physical attributes now. So I could sort the entire draft class by whether their speed is elite or not, which is crazy. Like here's our right outside linebacker, Will Moreland. Elite speed, elite. Dude, I'm about to just build the fastest linebacker group. I'm doing it. I'm taking Will Moreland. It's really cool that you can sort by physical abilities. I've been watching Wanting that feature for so long. We just gotta hope this dude's hidden dev too. Will Moreland, 86 speed, 91 excel, run stopper, 6'3", out of Notre Dame, hidden dev. We have two of the fastest linebackers in this entire class. Defense is getting a lot better in Carolina. And my pickup in the third round here is gonna be JP Choice, a man-to-man -man corner. I saw that his speed and excel were good, was hoping he'd be hidden dev, he's not. He does have good intangibles though. This guy could still be pretty nice, even though he's not hidden dev. 93 speed, 92 excel. We're chilling. All right, gentlemen, end of the draft to the most important part, the draft recap. Just how well did we do? Oh, holy shit. Yo, does true value mean he's the second best player in the entire draft? 81 overall. This is on normal strength for every position. Franklin Dane is one of the best middle linebackers I've ever seen in any draft class. Jesus. Pierre Harding, I mean, it was kind of a whip, but he's still a 73 overall. Will Moreland was an insanely good pick. I got a 76 overall and an 81 overall middle linebacker in the same class. Every other pick after that was, was truly a whiff. These guys were dog shit. Uh, we ended up getting a quarterback. We did need one. This is Joe Tucker, the improvised out of Cincinnati. He is a 65 overall. Yikes, you suck. But so does Andy Dalton. Maybe I start you. Um, I'm starting to think true value means they're overall because I'd be shocked if there's a player better. Dude, I think it does. Jerry Adams is an 82 overall safety. The next best player in the entire class is Franklin Dane, who we got. And then there's a drop off. That's an insanely good middle linebacker. Jerry Adams also hidden dev. This could be the battle for defensive rookie of the year right here between Jerry Adams and Franklin Dane. Okay, looks like Andy Dalton retired. So we don't have a Choice. Joe Tucker is the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers, coming in at a 65 overall. This roster just went through a major overhaul, so let's take a look at this. Xavier Leggett, despite a really good season, actually regressed, so now he's normal dev, but he's a higher overall. That's kind of sad. Jonathan Brooks looks a lot better. He's an 85 overall. O-line still looks great. We still have no tight end, so that's a problem. Quarterback is way worse off now. We got Joe Tucker in here. Uh, you are in for a long season, buddy. But let's be honest. We focused our efforts on defense. That's why Franklin Dane and Will Moreland are in here. Trevin Wallace also in his second year. JC Horn's looking good. Derek Brown's looking okay. Uh, this is definitely still a scary rebuild. I think we need to trade Shaq Thompson, though. I have really good linebackers. He's still worth at least something. Let's try and extract some value for um, Shaq Thompson. The Falcons will part way with a second-round pick for Shaq Thompson. So Bryce Young and Shaq Thompson were worth two second-round picks. That's sad. This could very well be a very very bumpy season, so let's make it quick. Joe 
Tucker Masterclass? Question mark? Carolina Panthers go 6-11 once again, which means Joe Tucker was as effective as Andy Dalton. The team morale is low, telling me we definitely lost some games, but let's talk about Jatavion Sanders. He went up six overalls, 83 speed, 85 catching out of Texas. You gotta love how the character model for Jatavion Sanders is just this dark black large man, and then his player photo is just this mixed guy. He got like eight shades darker of black when you click into his <laughs> Whatever! Dude, if I have an excuse to shit on something that EA does, I'm gonna take it, all right? Holy shit! Hey, what did I say about Franklin Dane? I said he was the best linebacker I'd ever seen. He is superstar X Factor. Will Moreland is superstar and JC Horn. It's one of the only players on this team with positive morale is now superstar. He must have had a nuclear season. Holy shit, Franklin Dane is an X Factor rookie. It's low-key as insane abilities too. Mid-zone KO, no outsiders. Why don't we give him pick artist as well? Oh my God, this is crazy. Crazy, he's so good. Well, it looks like last year's draft was impeccable for us, dude. We got a superstar in Will Moreland who has, I mean, amazing abilities too. I'm gonna give him inside stuff and reach elite. Dude, we turn this team around quick. Honestly, the only issue we still have right now is the quarterback room. I think we just need to draft a quarterback this year and we'll be just fine. Joe Tucker had almost 4,000 yards, but he threw more interceptions than touchdowns. That'll happen when you start a 65 overall. That's yucky. It's a miracle we won the games we did. Jonathan. Brooks within a thousand yard season, but he had as many touchdowns as fumbles. And the backup, Raheem Blackshear, getting six touchdowns. Absolute shark. That is no fun. 1,200 yards for Xavier Leggett and 13 touchdowns. Jatavian Sanders, 854 and two, and Mingo, 850 and three. No wonder he got a lot better. He was very involved. Okay, Xavier Leggett, how did he not go up a dev tree? It is literal deja vu, the exact same pick. And I think the quarterback I want is still available. Yup. Wow. Zach Lowry is a round one talent, improviser quarterback. Projected round one pick four. He falls to round one pick seven. And this is actually such good news because there were no other like legitimate quarterbacks in this draft class. Not until like the third, fourth round. It was a shallow class. I almost traded up to get him, but I didn't need to. Zach Lowry went to San Diego State. Elite strength and elite acceleration. Looks like it's going to be a fast quarterback. He's got incredible intangibles. If this guy is not a hidden bag, then nobody in this draft class is a hidden dev. This is the most surefire hidden dev pick I've probably ever had. He's fucking, a we got a, he's Asian. We got a Korean QB. Who, who would have thought that all we needed to turn around the Carolina Panthers was a little bit of bib and bop. A little KBBQ. Sixth in true value. So does that mean he's the sixth best player in the class? I don't know. Are you sucking my dick? That's racist as shit. This guy is a, is a god. He's an 84 speed, 91 excel, 92 throw. That's crazy. Stop Asian hate. And honest to God, it does does not matter because all I needed was my QB of the future and I promise this guy is at least a 70. I'm gonna say he's at least a 72 overall. That's our QB of the future. Draft recap, this is a big one. I let the CPU to take the rest of mine because all I cared about was Zach Lowry. Like what? Zach Lowry's a 76 overall QB and he's, that makes no sense. That's like, that's so high for a quarterback. He's really good too. 84 speed, 91 excel. Uh, the CPU took Taylor Kitchens, a 90 speed free safety. Also normal dev, but he's really good. Got a 71 overall outside linebacker in the fourth round. Also drafted a tight end. We do need one Seth Allen out of Vanderbilt. Good speed, low overall. We'll take it. Honestly, gentlemen, we are putting together a pretty awesome roster right now. The wide receivers, despite still being normal dev, are getting better. Xavier Leggett is at an 82 and Mingo's at a 79. I don't know what it's going to take to get this dude a dev trade upgrade though, because we just got him 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns and he's still normal dev. Offensive line still looks solid, although my right tackle, Redding, is a 67. That's a little ugly. Jatavian Sanders is a 77 and defensively we look fucking spectacular jc horn is now an x factor so he must have won one of the best corners in the league i guess Derek brown looks great moreland bane and wallace all look really good in the upcoming draft class or free agency i would like to get a dominant left end because Derek brown is really my rush d tackle like he's really he's basically playing d tackle right now so we do need some edge pressure and we're gonna need a big season out of seth lowry i'm gonna sim to the regular season and i'm gonna play a little bit of this first regular season game 
game. I want to try out Seth Lowry. Oh my God, our season opener is against the Saints again? Wait, three years later and we have the same season opener? That's actually pretty cool. Oh, but this time we're at home. All right, let's get a little redemption here. Also, this time it's not Andy Dalton. It's Seth Lowry, baby. Seth Lowry in the Panthers threads. Jonathan Brooks in the backfield. We got Jonathan Mingo, Xavier Leggett. We got Jatavian Sanders. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who 83 is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because there's Xavier for a good 10 yards. Nice work, Seth. So Seth Lowry is not a scrambler. He's an improviser, which is the same archetype as Mahomes. He's got 84 speed, so we can scramble if we really want. But we don't have to. Gonna run real switchy. Stepping up in this pocket. Oh, and the rookie. A fumble. Yikes. That's three points for the Saints, but next time we take over, we're on the inch yard line? What did the Saints do here? Jonathan Brooks is just gonna walk this in. Not a bad start. All right, third and five coming up here. We're gonna have me take over to try to pick this up. There's Jatavion Sanders wide open. I like Jatavion Sanders. I think he could be the QB of the future for this program. We are a young developing team. I've got the check down, but dude, I'm telling you, Seth Lowry is quick. Don't fumble. He's quick, but he does have a fumble right now. Ooh, I would love Sanders. I would love Xavier. Clean check down. Just get the ball out. No sack. Nice work, Seth. Seth is putting on for all my Korean Americans out there. He's got that Asian persuasion. He uses math to find open receivers. I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. I apologize. First and goal, Seth Lowry. Asian persuasion! It's for Venus Sky. Seth Lowry's in the end zone. 14 to 10. Carolina's looking good right now, baby. Third and six. Big pickup needed. Can we find? Can we find Jatavion Sanders? Oh. Caught that? Yo, that was third down. That was... I don't think I could throw that and ever catch it again. We hit the one in a million. What a ball! Seth Lowry. Dude, this is... This is this team is going to go to a Super Bowl. I don't know how many years it's going to take, but we have the foundation of a Super Bowl roster. 100%. We got the quarterback. We got the running back. We got the tight end. We got the linebackers. And I think we have the wide receivers. I think Xavier Leggett and Jonathan Mingo could do it. Second and ten. Let's keep applying pressure. Remember what the same did to us two years ago. You remember what the Saints did to us in that season opener? I sure do. All right, third and ten. I'm gonna try and catch him sleeping, and I'm gonna go Jonathan Brooks. Oh, it's actually a really good juke. I'm not getting Jonathan Brooks involved enough right now. Fourth and five. Panthers are going ultra aggressive and going for this. And there is a wide open Jonathan Mingo. Come on now. Seth Lowry in his first ever NFL start. Last time Seth Lowry touched a football, he was playing for the San Diego State Aztecs. Now he's playing in the big leagues with the big boys. Look at that route on the right side. Mingo and Leggett are getting fancy. Damn. So are the Saints, though. Third and 16. Big play. Xavier, no. Seth Lowry with that Stevie Wonder pass. I don't think the Saints can score here, though. They can't. It's 10 to 21. We're taking back over on third and six in range. Honestly, I'm gonna go for this. I don't want the field goal. So we might as well run the football right now since we know we're going for it on fourth. Make that fourth and one. That's exactly why we did that. And now we can run it one more time and just punch this forward. We got a good offensive line. Talk shit about the Panthers all you want. That's a good offensive line. And they give me a great push. And Jonathan Brooks hammers it home. Beautiful work. Now in the red zone. Can we catch the Saints sleeping with a little decoy motion? Send them over there. What are we doing with the motion? Who knows? We're doing not shit because it's a slip screen. Blockers, blockers. Four yards on the slip screen. We're gonna go wide trail here. And there is Xavier wide open. <laughs> Leggett's got a touchdown. Brooks got a touchdown. Sanders has a touchdown. I think this game's over. Oh my God. It feels good to beat the Saints. 28 to 10 to start this season with Seth Lowry as quarterback. Could this be our first winning season? It might be a little too early, but we started out real hot right there. Why am I calling him Seth Lowry? Does anybody know why I'm calling him Seth Lowry? Where did I pull that name out of? His name is Zach Lowry. Zach Lowry. Zach Lowry. Zach. You know what? No, let's just make this easier. Why, why try and rewire my brain? Your name is Seth now, buddy. Ni hao. Welcome to the Shanghai Sharks. And your last name is not Lowry either. It's Win. This is your new last name. See, for the people who skip around the video, they're gonna be real confused. But you know what? They're just gonna have to fucking suck it up because that's Seth Win right there. And he's ready to win some ball games. Come on. Well, that is a little depressing. I'm not gonna lie. We finally got like all the pieces together and we just had our worst season. We went four and 13. Oh, let's see how that looked in the stat book. All right, Seth Win. 3,400 yards, 19 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Yikes. I I wonder if Panthers playbook has anything to do with this. Brooks was a yard short of a thousand. Are you kidding me? 
but he did have 10 TDs, which is nice. Xavier had another 1,200 yard season and 11 touchdowns. So another is, you know, good work for him again. Defensively, where were Lee? Franklin Bain was excellent, four and a half sacks. Eric Brown had 10 and a half. It seems like on paper, we played very well. Seven interceptions for JC Horn? What? Dude, how did we lose? How did we lose so many games? We played really well. Horn's looking incredible. Honestly, I think that was just an unlucky season. Or actually, I mean, we can check. Yeah, honestly, this is a pretty unlucky season. That's all there is to it. Close loss here. Close loss here. Another close. Dude, all these losses are very close. We got smacked by the Packers and smacked by the Bucks. One possession game, two possession game, one possession game, two possession game, two possession game, one possession game. I think we're just fine. And frankly, it's going to give us a really good draft pick coming up here. So I think this worked out just fine. Packers lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl MVP is Mahomes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. All right. Now it's free agency in 2026 and we have absurd cap space. I don't know that I've ever had 150 mil in cap space before. Trent McDuffie is a 94 overall at 26 years old. Rishi Rice is an X factor. Holy shit. Either of these would be massive. We'd have to offer so much money. Okay, Broderick Jones. Here's actually a really good signing. He's interested. He's an 81 overall, 26 year old right tackle. I'm gonna make him a player friendly offer. Honestly, I mean, we might as well. We have so much cap. We might as well take a shot on Rishi Rice. It's gotta be a very player friendly deal though. And we gotta offer him a lot of money. I'm gonna try it. We are not a top offer right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rishi Rice signed, but Broderick Jones didn't? What? How did that happen? Where'd he go? He went to Atlanta. Dude, I'm low key gonna try and pick up Jake Moody. I would love to get a super good kicker. Actually kind of important. I'll take a shot on a small deal on Deron Payne as well. Cause why not? Why not bolster that D line right now? Especially because we're, I think we're gonna have a really good season. All right. We got Rishi Rice, Jake Moody, and Deron Payne. That's a really good free agency. We picked up the best wide receiver in free agency. And frankly, one of the best wide receivers in the league at this point. Four years in the league, he's 27. He's a 92 overall slot, 99 catching, 98 catching traffic, 99 short route running. Dude's a freak. Let's give him some good abilities. Give him evasive. Let's give him deep in elite. Let's give him mid in elite. <laughs> he's having a good time. Also got to give him double me because come on, let's be real. Shockingly good free agency here. And we have a super high pick in this draft. We really could trade it. It's just so fun to draft a good player though, you know? Got round one, pick three. Emmett Reinhardt and Charles Weathers go first. I've been talking a lot about getting a dominant edge rusher, and I think that's what we're gonna need to do here in round one. The only problem is there's two really good right ends. They look very similar. John Carter's got elite change of direction. Philip Brock has elite acceleration and elite jumping. Philip Brock does look a little bit better. I'm gonna take him. I've wanted an elite edge rusher on this team for a while. We're finally, hopefully, gonna get one here in the draft. Philip Brock, uh-oh, because I just don't know what true value means. True value is not good. Oh my God, the round one pick three right end is normal depth. He does look good though on paper. 81 speed, 82 strength, 89 excel for a speed rusher is good. I can't believe he's normal dev though. Damn, that's a huge bummer. That's a big whiff with such a high pick. It's a big whiff. And I know we've been working on Jatavian Sanders, but tell me you've ever seen a tight end with this unbelievable of physicals. He is elite in fucking everything other than jumping and strength. This guy is an absolute freak show. I actually am gonna feel so bad though if we spent two years developing Jatavian Sanders just to draft the most ridiculous tight end prospect you've ever seen. Yeah, look at Canales. Yeah, acting like you did that, boy. That was me. Yeah, get that Panthers lid on, boy. Derek Glover, number seven in true value. You are, okay, there's something just bugged. Or it's the desired dev trait thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but you set a desired amount of dev trait players. So once you hit that threshold, it makes everybody normal dev after that. This guy's a freak. 87 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility. This guy's a freak. That should be hidden. I'm not even mad about my first pick now. I think we're just, we've hit the capacity. Uh, I'm gonna advance to the end of the draft. I think this still could be a really good draft. Draft recap, draft recap, come on. Philip Brock's a 74, not bad. Derek Glover's a 76, super good. And the CPU got me a 73 right guard. Mike Mormon probably played at BYU. You're hidden, Dev. Maybe I'm just a bum. He played at Tennessee, which is crazy, dude. If your name is Mike Mormon, you should definitely be playing at BYU. Whatever, I don't make the rules, I guess. Let's see the entire league. Let's see the draft class for this entire league. Wow, very weak class. Very, very weak class. The highest overall was a 77 and there was five of them. I'm wondering about that other edge rusher. Looks like Keith Berlin was a 78, so I could have got him instead. Um, where's John Carter? Damn, just those top, those top edge rushers were just actually not that good. That's all there is to it. So be it. Take a look at this roster. I am feeling really, really good. I can say that. Sanders is an 80. We have depth at tight end, finally. Derek Glover is starting at fullback right now. Jonathan Brooks is up to 92, and we've got an X-Factor on offense. That's Rishi Rice out of free agency. Uh, Leggett's getting better, and we got 
Pokey Wilson as our third string wide receiver. So that's pretty ugly, but hey, we're chilling. And on defense, we have three superstar X Factors now. That's JC Horn, Franklin Bain, and Derek Brown. The rest of the group is like pretty ugly. Like we're very top heavy with these three good guys, but those three guys are really good. Fuller, Taylor Kitchens is getting a little bit better. Harding's getting a little bit better. Could probably use some, some better other corners, but uh, we do have Deron Payne and we're at 83 overall, which is the highest we've ever been. Oh, our best season yet. Dude, we came just short of the playoffs. Carolina Panthers for the first time, it only took four years, but for the first time, a nine and eight record. We are almost at the top of the NFC South, but Tampa Bay went 10 and seven. If we had beat them in our head-to-head -head matchup, we'd be in the playoffs right now. That's really exciting. Statistically, Seth Wynn, his best season yet, 3,600 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. That is a huge step up from what he's been doing previously. He's up to an 84 overall improviser, although he is still normal dev trait. That's kind of a bummer. We really do want to get him to superstars so we can get some abilities on him. But frankly, he's already the best quarterback we've had in four years. So beggars can't be choosers. I'll definitely take that. Rushing. Brooks does not hit a thousand yards. But look at Seth win. 300 yards, three touchdowns. He's actually like, he's really plugging along. And Jamarcus Hankerson, 222 and five. Receiving Rasheed Rice, almost a thousand with 15 touchdowns. Xavier Leggett is pissed that we got him in free agency though. I wouldn't be shocked if he wants to trade because he's got 800 yards and not a single time in the end zone. Coming off a season where he had 1,213. I hope you didn't pick him up in fantasy. Pokey Wilson had six, no, eight. Jatavian Sanders, 547 and three. Defensively, guess who? Franklin Bain with the most tackles, no doubt. Eight and a half sacks out of Derrick Brown. Eight and a half sacks out of Philip Brock. That could easily be defensive rookie of the year. And then JC Horn is just an interception fucking magnet. Does this guy have the NFL record for interceptions or what? Nine interceptions. I've never seen a corner get so many interceptions. I don't know if it's his abilities or what. We got universal coverage, outside shade, deep out zone KO, and one step ahead. Let's take a look at the wards. I'm really hoping that he won something. We are not on the MVP ladder at all. Sorry, Seth. We are not on coach of the year at all. But take me to um the NFC defensive rookie of the year. Philip Brock is the defensive rookie of the year, at least for the NFC. Super exciting. We really aren't in the conversation. Oh, JC Horn, best DB. There's no, dude, nine interceptions is gross. And he got seven last year. He's killing it. All right, this upcoming NFL draft, I'm looking at these positions and I'm looking at the team. I can't confidently say that there's anybody I want in here. I feel like we could take offensive line potentially, maybe a safety, but I think I could extract better value just by trading my pick right now. This might be the last time we have a halfway decent pick as well. I think our team's only going to get better and better from here on out. Nine and eight. I hope that we continue to have like nine and eight or better seasons. I'm going to plug this first round pick in here and see what we can get. I want something defensive. Look at this. Tyler Newbin of the New York Giants is 27 superstar. Six foot two. I don't know that they would bite for a first round pick, but I got to try this at least. Holy shit. Did I just fleece myself? I never get mad in trades. I'm going to be honest. They don't make any sense to me because that feels like I fleece them. And yet, right out the gates, they accept that. An 87 overall free safety superstar for a first round pick? A mid first round pick? Whatever. Well, I've only got second and lower. I'm gonna let the CPU take over for this draft, and let's hop into the draft recap. By the way, for that reason, I try not to make too many trades and rebuilds, because if you really want to, you can finesse the shit out of the CPU trade logic and just build a god squad in year one. That's not fun. Although the CPU did just go ballistic and pick up a 75 overall halfback in the third round. Josh Goodwin, a power back out of UCF, who is hopefully hidden to. Holy shit, nice work. As a big boy. And not to mention, you know, Jonathan Brooks is getting a little bit older now. He's a, he's hitting that age where running backs start to fall off. And I needed a safety. They picked up a safety anyway, Eli Allen. And let's see if we missed out on anybody massive in this draft class. Ooh, there was a freak show, but I wasn't going to get him. Round one pick six, Shaquille Barden is an 83 overall, 97 speed corner. That's a generational corner right there. Holy shit. That guy's a beast. Vikings got a dog. But past that, there's not too much talent in this class. So I'm all right with it. So last season, we barely missed the playoffs, but we went nine and eight, our best season yet. And here's the lineup now. Mike Mormon, the guard, is superstar. So that's huge. Redding is looking a lot better. Carl Black is not very good. So the offensive line has regressed since we started, but every other position has seen a huge increase. Barrett Glover is now the starting tight end. Leggett still on the squad, although probably frustrated. Rishi Rice at a 94 overall. Brooks is a 94 overall Seth Wynn and 85. We got Goodwin in behind Jonathan Brooks. And defensively, we've got, oh my God. Okay, call me a casual. I don't know who this is, but Tyler Newbin must progress like a monster in franchise because this guy's a beast. We've got a 6'2", 210 superstar free safety, Tyler Newbin. We've got our
our incredible core of Franklin Bain and Will Moreland. JC Horn, Philip Brock, Derek Brown, all looking incredible. Philip Brock, for winning Defensive Rookie of the Year, is now a superstar. He was a normal dev going into last season. And then Kitchens right now is my backup free safety, but I could start him at strong safety. I'm kind of tempted to do so. I think that's the right idea here. Yep, Taylor Kitchens now the starting strong safety. Defense looks incredible. And so does offense. I think if we can really develop Derek Glover a bit better, Seth Wynn will have so many weapons at his disposal. This guy already looks good though. All right, big season loading. That's the hope here. <laughs> Dude, this has been an awesome rebuild. We've been on this like slow climb up a hill. And gentlemen, we've got ourselves our first playoff game. Although look at Seattle. Have you ever seen that before? Have you ever seen a 95 offense? Holy shit. 85 defense, 95 offense for a 90 overall Seattle lineup. I don't know what they did, but that's crazy. We've got an 89 defense and an 84 offense. Yikes. Yo, what is this roster? What did Seattle build over there? By the way, here's a look in at the Panthers now. Remember at the start of this rebuild, we had one player in the 90 overall range. That was Derek Brown. That was it. Now we've got seven. JC Horn, Jonathan Brooks, Franklin Dane, Derek Brown, Rasheed Rice, Tyler Newbin, Philip Brock, and Seth Wynn. Honestly, this is a perfect mix of developed players, traded for players, free agent signings, and draft picks. That's really cool. This is it. This is exactly how I'd want to rebuild a team. That doesn't change the fact that the Seattle Seahawks have a 95 overall offense. That's crazy. They gotta have multiple 99s. They do. They have Kenneth Walker, who's a 99, and they have Colin Goldsberry, a 24-year-old quarterback with Truz, who's a 99 overall superstar X Factor out of Virginia Tech. He's a 99 field general, a 99 strong arm, a 98 improviser, and an 89 scrambler. Dude has the weirdest ability stacks I've ever seen, and 99 in damn near every throwing stat. Oh my god, who are you? Then they've got Jackson Smith and Jigba, who's developed really well. DK Metcalf, of course. Although I'm not doing the math here. How do you have a 95 offense? Oh my god, their offensive line, 92, 88, 88. <laughs> this team is crazy. Michael, they got Michael Mayer, who's now an 86 overall. Yeah, it's a good team, for sure. All right, I'm gonna play the moments in this wild card playoff. Wow, this is my first time playing defense and Kenneth Walker, hello? Hello? Also, he just fumbled. Okay, what just happened? I don't know, but um, defense is gonna be really fun. I was not locked in. I was not ready. There's Tyler Newbin. Franklin Bain. Oh my God, he's so fast. You can just feel it. And there's a handoff right there to the backup because that's not Kenneth Walker. But oh, wow, is this exciting. Franklin Dane in the middle. There's William Moreland on the right side. I see Philip Brock and Deron Payne. This is a pass. There's Dane. Oh my God. They actually like, wow, he pass led that behind me. That was like, that was impressive AI work right there. Seattle is now beating us 21 to zero and I haven't got to play a single moment. We're going to get shit on. This is my first offensive moment. It's 21 to zero. Yeah, it's a good offense. If you couldn't tell, I'm going Xavier. And that ball is not caught, and that's fourth down. And they're gonna bring me in to kick the field goal. And I'm pretty sure I shanked that. No, I didn't. Beautiful. That is why we got Jake Moody to hit those kicks. 21 to three, will I get to, dude, no defensive moment again. They just score. All righty. All right, I gotta use my superstars, man. I got so many good players on this team. Let's take advantage of that. There's Rasheed Rice. Oh my God, what a ball. Hey, we still got Jonathan Brooks. We still got timeouts. There is no need to exclusively pass this football. Second and seven, we'll take that. You know what? I believe in what I said. I'm gonna run the ball again. Got a star right guard and hopefully some blocks. Jonathan Brooks, good vision. Make it third and four. We still got three timeouts. We got slants. I see one and Leggett makes an insane catch. Nice work. Needed that bad. All right, now we're looking at verticals. Standard concept. There's Rasheed Rice, 26 seconds. Now we're looking at first and goal. We should be able to get on the board here. Try and stop the bleeding because Seattle's offense is no joke. Oh, there's a flag. I assume it's on me, but if it's not, that's a touchdown. How could that flag be on me though? It's gotta be an offsides or something. Oh, I think it is. I think that's an offside Seattle. We're gonna decline that penalty and take our touchdown. Beautiful free play. Honestly, we're losing by a lot. We're gonna go for two here. Let's go for it. Rasheed Rice. Oh, I thought he was in main coverage, but there's a sweet spot. What happened? Oh, that looks beautiful. What happened there? All right, rocking a third and eight now. Oh, that's a blitz over the middle. Let's get this off quick. Damn good defense. Really good defense. They're bringing me in to kick the field goal again. And what do I say, ladies? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we got Jake Moody. This is why we got Jake Moody. Pins it. 28 to 12 in the wild card. Um, could I please get a defensive moment? I want to play defense. I love my defense, man. We don't get a moment, but we're back on offense. 28 to 12. This game is alive, people. It's alive. There's Xavier. 
Gonna take some easy yards. Now on third down, they got me taken over. Honestly, we have to go for it on fourth. So let's run this football. See if we can pick up some yards. Jonathan Brooks is gonna take two. I think we can run for three yards. Call me crazy, but I think we can run for three yards. Get to the second level. Beautiful! Jonathan Brooks! Big hurdle! Scary. I don't know why. I'm just addicted to the hurdle. Ever since I quit nicotine, I had to get addicted to something else. First and ten. A lot of clock just came off right there. Jesus, a lot of clock just came off right there. Just gonna get this ball out as quick as I can and Jonathan Brooks. Honestly, I didn't think that was gonna be a touchdown, but it was. 28 to 18, we still have three timeouts and we're in red zone. Honestly, dude, a pitiful first half is the only reason we're gonna lose this game. Seattle put up all 28 of their points in the first half and they've just been coasting to this victory ever since. First and goal. Oh, Seth Wynn gets out of the pocket. Can he turn up field? I could have thrown that to be. Maybe. Seth Wynn. I don't know how you got out of that, buddy. Let's try and hand this off to Jonathan Brooks for another touchdown for him. Second and goal. Good looking blocks. Jonathan Brooks can't quite get in, and we do not have the clock. You got to love how no huddle takes 20 seconds off the fucking clock. Holy shit. And that ball is overthrown to Rasheed Rice. We're not going to score here. It doesn't look like. Fourth and goal. Uh-oh. This does not look good. Seth went up the middle. Oh my God, this is gonna be such a close game, but we have to get the onside kick. Also, it's completely bugged and it won't even let me click. It won't let me click a play. Watch, when I go onside kick, there's no play to click. Okay, so I guess I just have to watch this go down. The wild card playoff game, our first playoff game, comes down to an onside kick. 28 to 25, a big bounce. Easily handled by the big boy, DK Metcalf. And that's gonna be all she wrote. GG's to the Seahawks. Honestly, a pitiful defensive performance in the first half. Seattle puts up 28 in the first half, does nothing in the second half, and comes out with a W. Damn. Hey, we made the playoffs, boys. We gotta be excited about that. And that's an insane team. That Seattle team has a 95 offense. So I think we're gonna be all right. Dude, Jalen Hurts is available in free agency. I have 120 mil in cap space. This dude is a 98 overall superstar X Factor. I don't know if I've ever seen a 98 overall in free agency. He's 31, the Tush Push Merchant. I could give up on Seth Wynn right now and go for a bowl. All right, we're gonna start with Easton Harper, who's a really solid center who's interested in the team. There's a lot of offensive linemen that are interested in a lot of quality offensive linemen. We can make the O-line a lot better right now. And I'm gonna do just that. Honestly, this is a generational opportunity in free agency. I'm gonna see if we can pick up Jalen Hurts. I don't expect this to be very possible. Like, I don't think he'll bite on this because he doesn't give a shit about this team. No, Seth Wynn is, is an 87 overall. This is so stupid. I'm not doing that. I think we just build the O-line. We can also technically pick up a super washed TJ Watt. I'm gonna try. Okay, this was honestly a crazy free agency. We picked up Wyatt Teller, who is super washed now, a super washed TJ Watt, Easton Harper, auto-generated center, and a very washed Brian O'Neill. But like, dude, look at these signings though. My whole offensive line, 84, 84, 86, and an 86 overall TJ Watt. That's not bad at all. Also, Josh Hines Allen, come on. They put the Hines in there everywhere. People are really getting confused about which Josh Allen this was. He is still available in free agency. It's an 86 overall right in. Does he sign? This could be a, a, oh my God, he does. Devin McCollum signs. Josh Hines Allen signs. Actually a ridiculous free agency. This team just got so much better. And a recap of this draft. It actually went really well. We had a uh, pick 21. Picked up Rennell Poe, 76 overall strong safety. West Virginia, but he's normal dev. Finally picked up a wide receiver. This one's Jamal Dobson out of Michigan. Shittiest college in the nation. But he is really good. 89 speed, 94 excel. It's about time we drafted a wide receiver. My wide receiver three has been pitiful for a long time. And also got Javier Palmer, a run stopper, 76 overall right outside linebacker. It was a very good draft. That's a fast hidden dev linebacker in the third round. And the best player in the entire class was an 82 overall free safety out of Michigan. Michigan had a good team this year, apparently. This is what I believe to be our Super Bowl roster. And I guess we're going to find out. Seth Wynn, 87 overall. Rasheed Rice does regress, but Leggett is loyal. He stays with the Panthers. Brooks is a 94 overall. Dobson's looking good down there. Offensive line got a full overhaul. Teller, Mormon, O'Neal, Harper, Redding. Insane offensive line. Glover's an 82 with the backup Seth Allen. And defensively, all the insane names you know. Tyler Newbin, Taylor Kitchens, JC Horn, Philip Brock now an X-Factor. Derek Brown still an X-Factor. McCollum signs in free agency. Franklin Dane, Moreland, TJ Watt now. This team is nasty, bro. Got Jake Moody at kicker. And we even got Josh Allen as my rush right in now. Carolina Panthers Super Bowl loading. 91 overall. 15 
and two, dominating the NFC South, and a bye in the wild card. Nasty. Let's take a look at this lineup. Jesus, 15 and two is crazy. I think the revamped, yeah, the revamped offensive line was a huge part of this. I don't think I was putting enough importance to that. I wasn't drafting O-line, and now that I revamped it, look at that. Jonathan Brooks, a 99 overall. Rasheed Rice, Dobson, Leggett looking really good. I got Bo Jackson, apparently. And uh, defensively, everybody looks crazy good right now. God, this team is hot. We haven't lost a game in a minute. The morale is very high. Let's take a look at our stats. Did we win any awards? Seth win. 4,339 and six. Probably just short of MVP, but we'll have to take a look. Yeah, Joe Burrow, 4,540 and eight. Jordan Love threw 50 touchdowns. Okay. Chill out. Jonathan Brooks, 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor had 19 touchdowns. Kenneth Walker had 1,718. Chill out. Dude, the Seahawks are crazy. Ironically, they were 2-15, and 15, weren't they, to start this rebuild. They were 2-15 and 15 in the first season. Josh Downs led the NFL in receiving yards. Rasheed Rice was fourth, though, with 1,318 touchdowns. Oh, my God. That's crazy. We got to be on this list again, though, because we had so many passing yards. Leggett had 800, Dobson 750. Yeah, we just spread the ball out really, really well on this team. Let's take a look at defense, though. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Devin McCollum out of free agency had 15 and a half. Oh my god, Derek Brown had 12 and a half, and Philip Brock had 11 and a half. Jesus, this is the best defense. It's one of the best defenses I've ever built. Five interceptions for JC Horn. This guy averages seven interceptions a year. Uh, Seth Wynn came in second in MVP voting to Jordan Love. Sad days. Offensive player of the year is Kenneth Walker. Yuck. Yuck. McCollum came in fourth. Jamal Dobson will win offensive rookie of the year though. Best wide receiver will go to Rasheed Rice. Best DB was almost JC Horn again. Best kicker is Jake Moody though. And our divisional playoff is against the Atlanta Falcons. Well, guess what? At least this time we have an overall advantage. They've got a 90 overall. We've got a 91. Let's take a look at the roster. Here's the head-to-head -head matchup. We got Franklin Bain, JC Horn, and Jonathan Brooks. They've got B at a 98 overall, AJ Terrell at a 94 overall, and Jesse Bates at a 92. This is an NFC South matchup right here. I like it. Honestly, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so excited for this team. I'm gonna play the moments in this divisional. I think I'm gonna watch full sim if we make it to the NFC Championship though. Cause playing the entire time, I just have a problem with it. Oh my God, it's Michael Penix. I guess I expected Kirk to come out, but now that I think about it, he's definitely retired at this point. Atlanta starts out seven to zero in my next moments on defense. No. We got to win this one, boys. Dude, look at this defense. This defense is too good, boys. It's too good. We're hopping on Franklin Dane. Play a little bit of defense here, and it works. Philip Brock gets home. Michael Penix goes down, and they'll take the field goal. My next moment is on defense again. Come on now. Third and five. Franklin Dane masterclass question mark. Michael Penix throws it away. Another stop for the defense. Dude, give me a moment on offense, though. Okay, I guess Carolina scored there. They didn't need me. 7 to 10. It's third and four. Dude, I've got one of the best running backs in the league right now. Jonathan Brooks is a 96 overall without superstar, which is crazy. Gonna hand it off to him. Get to the edge and try to run through Jesse Bates, but that's a first down, baby. Move the chains. Now in the red zone, first and goal from the one. I like how this looks. Make it too easy for Jonathan Brooks. They certainly didn't. We come back a yard. The Falcons defense is not going to let this up easy. Seth Wynn, you got to get creative here. Or maybe we go underneath to Rasheed Rice. Oh, there he is. Too easy. Too difficult. That's a drop. Now third in goal from the two. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Rasheed Rice got a good release, but there's Dobson, the Michigan rookie. Broken up again. We got to go for this. This Falcons defense is not playing around, but I'm handing this ball off to Jonathan than Brooks on the two yard line. We need a little bit. And Atlanta's gonna take over on the inch yard line. Oh my goodness, we really didn't get in there. This Atlanta defense is no joke. Bam, on third. I should have ran that ball four times. Third and 10. There's a laser beam. Here's Tyler Newbin who we got in a trade with the New York Giants. And now they've flipped the entire field. This is a 99 yard drive. I think this ball is going to be John Robinson, but that's not really the question. Oh. Michael Penix made that way too easy. Touchdown for the Falcons. Oh my God, and we marched all the way down here? With 12 seconds, I have a chance to score? Third and five, Rasheed Rice is open! He's on the one, and we don't have a timeout! Oh my God, what? How am I gonna get the snap to snap it? Oh my God, what? 
That is a 100% game-breaking bug. Because Rasheed Rice caught that ball on the one inbounds with six seconds left. And somehow my entire team teleported up to the line. And I was able to snap that. Dude, I tell you, there's nothing more broken than the sim logic in Madden. They just completely neglect this part of the mode. And it worked out in my favor this time. All the times they've screwed me over, I'm happy to let it work in my favor for once. Jesus. They came in so hot there. They got me coming in for a big 56-yard field goal right here. Good accuracy. Maybe enough power. I don't know, though. I don't know. Jake Moody's a dog. Bonk the camera. That'll count. 56-yarder goes down. It's 17-17. to 17. This is a crazy matchup right now. Franklin Dane on third and six. We need a big stop, brother. He's got to check down to Kyle Pitts. He doesn't take it, he just throws it away. And that's gonna be a turnover. Third down, they got me coming in. On third and four, I'm running this football because I'm gonna go for it on fourth. I don't think we'll need it though. I think, oh my God, you're shitting me, right? I did not revamp this offensive line for you to get body bagged. We gotta punt that one. 17 to 17, looks like there was a turnover though because the Panthers are in scoring range. I think we gotta use Rasheed Rice's like open field ability here, you know? Let's give him something simple. I got a whole zero yards on that. Nice nice play call, Matt. Hey, let's not forget that Seth Wynn's actually an improviser. Don't forget, oh, he doesn't need to. Jamal Dobson, the rookie! Huge touchdown for Carolina. It's 24 to 17. The Falcons turn the ball over again. Coach is putting me in five wide every play too, and I love it, and I love it. There's Rasheed Rice in the open field. Big stiff arm. Oh, it was. It was, but he took me out of bounds. It's a good tackle. Now second and inches. What are we looking at here? Ooh, they all rushed to that one side. That was so weird. It's fourth and two, gentlemen. A huge stop can put this game away. JC Horn is down. I'm on Tyler Newbin. It's a handoff to Bijan. He meets Dane. He breaks the tackle, but not the second. And Taylor Kitchens <laughs> just hammered Bijan. So hopefully put this game away. Third and two. One first down. There's Dobson. That's a hell of a throw on third and two. This game is all over. 17 to 31. Our first playoff win as Carolina Panthers is against the Falcons. And we're moving on to the NFC Championship. The NFC Championship is against the Minnesota Vikings. We've got an 88 overall with a 91 offense. Their best three players are a 94 overall JJ McCarthy, a 94 overall Dallas Turner, and a 97 overall Justin Jefferson. We are dominating them in almost every statistical category though. We're first in the league for opponents points per game we're fifth in rushing yards fourth in passing third in offense and second in all defensive categories i don't see how minnesota beats us here they are at the top of the nfc north at 11 and 6 and who are they coming off a win against they're coming off a win against seattle oh shit they beat seattle and on the other side of the bracket big shocker everyone the kansas city chiefs taking on the baltimore ravens and I, pr I pray i don't see the chiefs in the super bowl they're the most annoying team to play in this shit minnesota vikings on the clock we are one game away from from the Super Bowl. Here comes JJ, and here comes Seth Wynn. Seth Wynn keeps his helmet on for the pressers. We got a close one, ladies and gentlemen. It's 24 to 16, a healthy lead, and the football. It's second and 10 from our own nine, though. We've got to mount some serious drives here. If we want to hold on to this, there's a sick play. I love that. Seth Wynn, 140 and two touchdowns right now. That throw in to Derek Turner, the tight end. Resets the chains. I'm shocked at why we're snapping this football. We got to chew all this clock, gentlemen. Got to chew all of it. First in two, oh my God, what? Seth! Seth Wynn, what are you doing? L you just let someone named Lenny Johnson fucking stanky leg on you. You see the drip this guy's got? He's got double shooter sleeves and an arm brace. You're gonna let that guy pick you off for a pick six in a divisional playoff game? 22 to 24, huge turnover and a huge two point conversion. Now I trust my defense. Can I trust them right now? Play action for JJ, he rifles. That wasn't even remotely covered. We may lose this game, gentlemen. We may lose this game. 24 to 24, Carolina's got down in the red zone though. The game's not over even if we score here, but I would love to see Seth win. He's gonna step up, don't fumble. Seth! You're a psycho, Seth. Get down! Oh my God, what's he doing? Seth win for all of Korea, mainly South Korea though. Not trying to get canceled. First and goal, almost a two minute, Seth! Oh my God, Lenny Johnson is owning this entire fucking team. You get two mitts on the ball in the end zone, you better come down with that shit. I don't know who just dropped it, but I'm not happy with him. I think that was Dare. I don't know. See, that's what we should have done from the jump though. Jonathan Brooks is a 96 overall. Let's not forget. Big Jake Moody PAT will make this 31 to 24. 
And the Vikings got two minutes to put in a touchdown. JJ McCarthy on the... Oh my God, he shot that slip screen like a freak. Who I want to know who that was. That wasn't Franklin Dane, but that was an insane play. Oh my God, that was an insane play. Check down here to TJ Hawkinson, easily tackled early. And that keeps the clock ticking. No, Minnesota calls a timeout. Now third and two. Pass rush can't get there. Another pass to TJ Hawkinson. Another tackle in bounds though. They are running out of clock here. They've got two timeouts left. Pass rush through the middle. Broken up. Third and six. What do we want to do here? JJ McCarthy down to TJ Hawkinson. Decent work. Now first and 10 into TJ Hawkinson again. Second and five. Vikings down to one timeout. Oh my God, what a good throw. Oh, that's gonna put them right in range. Oh boy. No timeout. They teleport to the line without any time coming off. See how that sucks sometimes. First and 10, 35 seconds. JJ McCarthy's gonna step up and run. Oh my God, he got seven yards though. Clock is still ticking. They teleport to the line with no time coming. Oh, just kidding. Timeout that time. Timeout that time. Minnesota has no timeouts. JJ, end zone! Almost intercepted. Third and three. Oh, here we go! The NFC Championship. Third and three. JJ unloads! Out of bounds. First and goal from the five, 24 seconds, no timeouts. I got such a good D-line, somebody's gotta get home. We need a sack right here, right now. Come on, boys. First and goal, JJ! Intercepted! Intercepted! Franklin Dane! Our very first pick! Oh my god, he got it! In the back of the end zone, he goes to Hawkinson. It looks like he's there. But Franklin Dane just takes this football. He just took it from him. Seth Wynn trotting out for that victory formation. Ni hao, buddy. We're going to the Super Bowl. We're just dogs and we're just built like that. We're going to the bowl, baby. Seth Wynn, two touchdowns, 160 yards, all you need. Honestly, defense stepped up big time because Seth Wynn threw that crucial pick six. 24 to 31 in the NFC Championship. Before we walk into this Super Bowl, let's take one final look at this roster. Oh my God, it's the Baltimore Ravens. It's not the Chiefs. Wait, this is so sick. All right, the best players on the Ravens 99 overall Lamar, 98 overall Kyle Hamilton, and 94 Roquan Smith. This is a way more favorable matchup than the Chiefs. If we had played the Chiefs, it would not have been good. So here's our lineup, gentlemen. Seth Wynn, finally a star dev. That revamped offensive line thanks to a huge free agency. Xavier Leggett, Jamal Dobson, and Rasheed Rice as our wide receivers. Jonathan Brooks, a true 99 overall and a superstar. He's finally a superstar. And defensively, JC Horn, Phillip Brock, Derek Brown, Franklin Dane, Tyler Newbin, Moreland, Wallace, a very washed TJ Watt. Jonathan Brooks with evasive tank and recuperation. Yeah, he's a freak. It is a bummer that you don't really get speed upgrades though. Like he's a 99 overall running back, but he still has 90 speed, 92 excel. And if you want to take a look at it from this angle, dude, my favorite part about this rebuild is the fact that the Panthers truly have like the shittiest lineup and they have only one player that is a 90 overall or better. That's Derek Brown. At the start of the season, you have a 91 overall Derek Brown and a bunch of 84s. So to see almost 10 90 plus overalls is crazy. That's Devin McCollum, Tyler Newbin, Derek Brown, Seth Wynn. Philip Brock, Rasheed Rice, JC Horn, Franklin Dane, and Jonathan Brooks. Jonathan Brooks, a rookie when we started this. Franklin Dane, our very first draft pick. JC Horn, just a stud for the Panthers. Rasheed Rice in a massive trade. Philip Brock from the draft. Seth Wynn from the draft. Derek Brown, Panthers stud. Tyler Newbin, big trade. Devin McCollum, free agency. This is a sick team, dude. All right, let's put it all together here in the Super Bowl against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm gonna take one drive on offense and one drive on defense, and then we'll sim the rest of it. It is zero to zero at the start of the Super Bowl, gentlemen. Gotta put our team in a position to win, but I wanna see them win without my full input. Seth win with Jonathan Brooks, who finally has abilities in the backfield. And this is a bad camera angle to be on because I can't really see, but hey. Jonathan Brooks will take 12 yards. Dude, I tell you what, this team is really good at getting me inside, inside the five. First and goal, motion halfback plunge. We're gonna motion Monroe over and we're gonna go power football right behind him. Give me a push, gentlemen, Brooks. Brooks is on his feet, what? Oh, I thought that play was clapped. I really didn't even run that that well. Jonathan Brooks. Oh, I don't know how he did that. But that's a touchdown. First touchdown of the Super Bowl. And now we've got an opportunity on defense. No, I'm player locked. Shit. This bug is still a thing? I literally am forced to be Josh Allen until the play starts every time now. Oh, that's so shitty. Yeah, guys, this is just a known bug. There's nothing you can do. At least it put me on Trevin Wallace now. There's nothing I can do until the play starts. Third and seven. Okay. 
Okay, can we get there? Fourth and one. Do they go for this? Oh my God, they are. Fourth and one. The Ravens are going for this. This is huge. It's got to be a run up the middle. I'm run committing. Come on, boys. Fourth and one. Come on, boys. There it is. Oh, Lamar keeps it. We're there. Taylor Kitchens. That's a huge stop. It is 7 to 14. Baltimore got two straight touchdowns unanswered. But we're in the red zone right now, and Seth Wynn finds Rasheed Rice. That was a tough catch. It also stops the clock. One timeout remaining. No turnovers. Rasheed Rice. That is going to tie this ball game up in the Super Bowl. Seth Wynn to Rasheed Rice. Little busted coverage. They did not know where they were going right there. And a big PAT out of Jake Moody will tie this game up. On the ensuing drive, Baltimore gets all the way down into the red zone but can't convert from there. So I, I like to think of that as a good stop. We kept them out of the end zone. They do get seven points. Looks like Justin Tucker has retired because they got Carl Johnston kicking that field goal. But now a huge drive coming up for the Panthers. And one thing I've yet to see in Madden 25 is a kick return touchdown. The new kick return logic. The new kick return setup is hard to return kicks on. Rasheed Rice, perfect today. Six targets, six receptions, 76 yards, and a touchdown. 14 to 17, a massive third down coming up for the Panthers. We're almost in scoring territory, but if we can't convert this, we might pooch punt it. I really don't know. Seth Wynn looks... Oh, did he catch that? He did. Xavier Leggett. Dude, what a trooper. This guy has never gone up in a dev trade. He's continued to get better. He got replaced by Rasheed Rice, and he still remained a Carolina Panther. Could have requested a trade and got out of here at any time, but now it's first and 10. I'm surprised not to see a run there, but a quick check down to Derek Glover goes for five yards. Oh, this is such a good Super Bowl. 14 to 17, down by three in the Super Bowl. Panthers looking to score a touchdown, at the very least a field goal to tie this up. And there's a handoff. No, a play action to Jonathan Brooks. A check down to the backup tight end. Goes for a single yard. Now third and four. We've got a blitzer coming off that edge. That's Roquan Smith. Here he comes. Seth. Oh, weird, 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 weird catch. I did not like that, but he hauls it in, so I can't say much. I think that was Jamal Dobson, first and 10. Seth into Rasheed Rice. It has been all Rasheed Rice today. Eight catches, 105 yards, and that big touchdown. Now second and four. Ravens are in a goal line set. I think we're handing this off. No? Was that an audible to Rasheed Rice? Play action? Set to Rasheed, and there's a flag. What's the flag? Pass interference offense? Oh no, illegal man downfield. Do they accept that or decline for third and four? I think that's a weird decision. They accept the penalty, giving us an extra down in the red zone. Second and nine. There's a check down to Jonathan Brooks. You gotta break that tackle, Brooks. It's third and 11. Oh, what are we gonna do, Carolina? No fucking way. He breaks the tackle, but we just conceded for a field goal. I am so disappointed. Fourth and 10, here's Jake Moody. They're gonna let this go? No. Kick it before the two minute warning. It's, it's an easy field goal for him, but I'm just so shocked we didn't take another shot at the end zone. In the Super Bowl, a conservative play call, but this has been a defensive Super Bowl. 17 to 17. We're trusting our defense to make a stop. And then maybe another field goal wins this for us. Hey, coach just got us this far so far. I'm not going to doubt it. First and 10, Lamar. That's a sketchy ball. That is a sketchy pass. That was well defended. Second and six, a minute 30. Pass rush needs to get home. No. How did that get through? I cannot believe that got through first and 10. They're almost in field goal range already. This is why. This is why I was confused by that play call. Another easy pass over the middle. Baltimore calls a timeout there, though. Second and inches. Might even hand this ball off, no? We got to get a sack if they don't. If they don't hand this off, we got to get to the quarterback. It's too easy. It is way too easy for Baltimore right now. Oh, this Panthers defense is so good, though. I can't believe they're letting up this many yards right now. First and 10. Who's going to make a play, boys? Who's going to make a play? Washed up TJ Watt. I see you. Washed up TJ Watt. Get home. There's a pass to... Is that Mark Andrews? They still have Mark Andrews? We're like six years in the future. Second and seven. Baltimore is pretty much in two clock territory. Third and six. Wait a minute, though. Third and six. They're going to hand this ball off again. If we stop them, they kick a field goal, and we've got clock. This is horrible clock management. Wait, we just need to make this tackle. Yes. Fourth and seven. What are they doing? Baltimore, even if they pin this, we've got a timeout in 50 seconds. We can easily get back in range. I thought they were just going to end the game. We're fine. No. 
No! No, I'm not losing to a roughing the kicker! Jamie Waters, you're not just cut, buddy. You're cut from existence. You're cut from life. I'm ru- Oh my god, what? Jim Harbaugh is actually smoking meth. Jim Harbaugh is legitimately on fentanyl. He just declined! A roughing the kicker is a guaranteed first down. It's a- It's a 15-yard personal foul and a guaranteed first down. So Jim Harbaugh in the Super Bowl just declined a roughing the kicker? They could have milked the entire clock and kicked a field goal to win the game. Oh my God, we're gonna get fucked in it. We're so ass. We're so ass. We're so ass. That is the most ridiculous series of events ever, but we're so ass that we deserve it. Oh my God. Bro, we deserve this loss. This is the saddest Super Bowl ever. You just got a roughing the kicker. Jim Harbaugh with Alzheimer's deciding to decline that. He could have gotten 15 yards closer, kneeled the ball three times, kicked a game winning field goal with one second left. Instead, we fumble six after being hand gifted an opportunity to win a game that we had no chance to win otherwise. We are pitiful. Seth win. All of Korea hates you. And frankly, all of the Carolinas. Half of America does not like you right now, Seth. You changed your name for what, Seth? This was literally probably the funniest rebuild I've ever done. Seth win, you came this close. A grain of rice away. Now, Kyle Hamilton, a 40-year-old Mark Andrews, Alzheimer's Jim Harbaugh, and a 99 overall Lamar Jackson are Super Bowl champions. We literally gave them that win. That is so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Seth didn't play particularly well. Tough game, boys. All right, we got to see if we broke any Panthers records, though. Did we? It does not look like it. Oh, we did. JC Horn has the Panthers career interceptions record. Of course he does. He has 934. He also has the single season record with nine. Not to mention Rasheed Rice now has the Panthers touchdown catches record with 18. Seth Wynn also has the pass touchdowns record with 39. Not bad. Joe Tucker has a rookie pass touchdowns record. That's Gross. Jonathan Brooks has a rush yards record. All right, gentlemen, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I couldn't make this team that much better. We sold out really hard in free agency to get a lot of these players and we developed some guys like God. So I feel like this rebuild was awesome. Obviously we came up short in the Super Bowl, but now it's time to see how this team would do on full autopilot for an entire season. So we'll sim to next season, see what happens. See if we can go for a little repeat. All right, we follow it up with a nine and eight season. Did we make the playoffs though? Or am I just short? No, we made the playoffs. And our first opponent is the Seattle Seahawks. Okay, so we go back to back to the playoffs. We're a 90 overall. It's actually a little bit lower overall than we were last year, which I'm not surprised by. We did just beat the Seahawks though. Now the Washington Commanders, no way we actually run it back. I very rarely run it back. We just beat the Commanders. Do we beat the Falcons? Yo, run it back. I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. We beat the fucking Falcons 37 to 31. Oh my God, we just ran it back. And now we're gonna play the Chiefs. Oh my God, we actually ran it back. We ran it back with a nine and eight record. This is literally one of my first times ever running it back. This so rarely happens. Yo, what's the difference? I mean, the team looks really similar. I guess we're just built like that this time around. Yeah, we're just built like that this time around. Holy shit, but it's the Chiefs. Dude, if we couldn't beat the Ravens, we ain't beating the Chiefs. I should go in and watch, but I, I can't, I can't endure the pain again. Are you ready? <sighs> See, I'm so glad I didn't go in and watch that shit. Fuck the Chiefs. 17 to 14. The Chiefs. Dude, we ran it back though. That is so cool. So we go back to back Super Bowls, but lose both. One to the Ravens and one to the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat the Lions in 28. The Chiefs beat the Seahawks in 27. The Chiefs beat the Packers in 26. Like, hey, EA, how about you update the fucking playbooks so that selecting Kansas City Chiefs offense isn't just completely fucking busted? How about that? Let it be known that I just went back to back Super Bowls with Carolina Panthers offense. Okay, let it be known. All right, boys, this was a hell of a rebuild. Gentlemen, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you boys in the next video. Peace.